Hello, class. This is your classmate, Christopher Height. So the topic I chose for discussion board forum three was on Williams Jennings Bryan. He was a great American attorney, orator, and also a congressman from the state of Nebraska. Um, he was a defender of the Christian faith. So he was a fundamental, he was a fundamentalist during the fundamentalist and modern era. Um, his biography is relevant for this topic. He was born and raised in Nebraska. I uh, was born during a time that the nation was divided during the Civil War. And interestingly enough, he lived the latter part of his life in a divided time in America when America was divided between the fundamentalist camp who believed in the inerrancy of the Bible. So the Bible was 100% the divine and inspired word of God to be taken literally. Uh, fundamentalists believed in the atonement, um, the virgin birth, the bodily resurrection, the inerrancy of scriptures. And they also believed in the literal interpretation of the Bible and in Jesus's miracles as well. Whereas the modernists, you have this camp on the other side, they didn't, um, you know, they basically believed Jesus Christ was a good man. He lived on the earth and that man should be, man should model his life and his behaviors after the person of Jesus Christ. But these modernists, they didn't necessarily believe that Jesus Christ was Lord um, as he said he was in the Bible. Some of them flat out rejected his divinity. Well, others, you know, they believed some things, um, but rejected, for example, his miracles and one of the key definers of modernists, um, especially in the late 19th, early 20th century, was were these new discoveries in science um, and geology, specifically that you know maybe people didn't view the biblical creation and the timeline of Earth as the Bible said it would be, um, as well as Darwin's theories of evolution and the origin of species and the descent of man. So basically, um, people during the time uh, started to lean towards uh, the theory of evolution and that it was true. And this became a problem uh, for, for people within Christianity, um, especially the fundamentalists who wanted to believe that God's creation of Adam was beautiful and divine in nature. Whereas these evolutionists believe that, okay, maybe this is true, but also Darwinism uh, led to the creation of Adam. And that's what some of the modernists believed as well. Where William Jennings Bryan comes in uh, is later in his life as a fundamentalist, he was asked to defend uh, Tennessee's Butler Act during the famous uh, Scopes Monkey Trial, in which a teacher, Scopes from um, from Tennessee, he uh, he was defended in his teaching of of evolution um, because it was Tennessee's Butler's Act made it illegal at the time. Um, the ACLU and Attorney Clarence Darrow, who, by the way, was an agnostic, some people say was an atheist, which was very uncommon at the time in the United States. Um, he unsuccessfully defended uh, Butler and um, Williams Jennings Bryant upheld the Butler Act. And so Scopes was fined $100 for teaching it. Uh, the significance of Williams Jennings Bryant was he led uh, the later defense, especially among Christian churches in the 20 and 21st century, 
Um, he was an inspiration for many.